Uh, hey, what's going on gamers? Jared the JC Gaming here. I've got a video today for all my Steam Deck users. I want to talk to you all about downloading and installing Battle.net, getting that installed onto your Steam Deck, as well as getting World of Warcraft and the console support add-on installed so that you can play World of Warcraft on your Steam Deck. This is a video that I had originally done a little over a year ago, but honestly, it's a little outdated, the process. While the process is pretty much the same, the look and feel of it is a little bit different, so I wanted to make sure that I was providing an updated guide for you all so that you can get this installed and play World of Warcraft on your Steam Deck. I think it's a great experience, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Before we jump into it, I do highly recommend you get a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. It makes this process a lot easier, especially when you get to the point where you actually have to log into Battle.net. I was running into issues previously where the Steam keyboard wouldn't stay uh, stay popped up. It kept um, just minimizing. So I was able to solve that issue with the Bluetooth keyboard. So I think it's gonna make this process a whole lot easier if you do have one handy. But today, Battle.net, World of Warcraft, console support, showing you how to get that installed on your Steam Deck, so let's check it out. First thing we want to do is pop on over into desktop mode and open your browser of choice. From here, you're going to navigate to battle.net, and once you get to the battle.net homepage, you're going to click download Battle.net up at the top. Once we see that little pop-up at the top there, we know that that download has been completed. Once that's downloaded, we need to add this to Steam, so we're going to open up Steam, go to Games, and add a non-Steam game to Library. From here, we're going to browse, navigate to our Downloads folder, and click on the Battle.net download that we just downloaded, and we're going to add that selected program. Once that's been added to our library, we want to launch this. If you navigate to it within your library and you click play, you may run into an issue of this not launching. If you do see this issue, just go into properties and you want to just force the use of Proton Experimental. And you can see from here, now that I launch this, this is going to actually run that. Once that runs, it's going to ask you to select your language, then it's going to ask you where you want to install Battle.net. Personally, I'm choosing to install Battle.net into my SD card, so I'm going to change this location. I'm going to select my E drive, and I already have a Battle.net folder created here. This is where I'm going to be installing the Battle.net launcher, and then I'm also going to uncheck the box because I do not want this to launch upon computer startup. And then from there, it should run the installation process. Once that's complete, it's going to prompt you to log in. I'm going to actually X out of this because my next step is adding the Battle.net launcher into my Steam library. So this is the same process. We're going to go to games and add a non-Steam game to our library. And I'm going to browse and I'm going to find the location where I just installed this. Remember, for me, it was my E drive and my Battle.net folder. For you, it may be a different location. So you want to find where you just installed Battle.net at. And you're going to go to all files and you have the option to add Battle.net into the Steam library. Once that's been added, you want to go ahead and launch this. Once again, if you are running into an issue where you're clicking play and nothing happens, we want to go into our properties and compatibility, and we're going to once again force this with Proton Experimental. And if we click play, this should appropriately now launch the Battle.net launcher. From here, enter your login information and then your Battle.net application should launch here shortly. Now at this point, it's asking me if I want to locate any games. Obviously, I haven't installed any games, so there's nothing to locate. I'm going to X through all of this. This is not my first time utilizing the Battle.net application. But once I'm here, I want to go ahead and download World of Warcraft. So I'm going to click World of Warcraft and I'm going to click Install and I'm going to set my installation location. 
Once again, as I already mentioned, I have a separate location on my SD card, that eDrive, e so I'm going to navigate to that specific folder and that's where I will be installing World of Warcraft. For you, you may choose to install this in a different location, that's your choice. And then from there, you can just get the installation process started. While that's downloading, I'm going to make one update to the application settings and I'm going to go into my settings and I'm just going to make it to where this Batternet launcher exits every time I launch a game so that it's not just hanging out running in the background whenever I'm playing WoW. At this point, World of Warcraft is downloaded, but to play, I want to utilize the uh, console port add-on. Right now, if I've never played before, you're going to see if I navigate to my World of Warcraft folder, there's not an add-ons folder for me to download and put this into. If you see this, then you're going to need to launch the game once. So we're just going to uh, launch the game. We're going to click play. It's going to boot up, and you'll see in a little bit, once we launch this for the first time, we'll have an uh, actual add-ons folder. So once I get here, I don't want to do anything yet. Obviously, like I said, I'm just launching the game so I can get that add-ons folder established. So once I get in, I can go ahead and just exit out. This is all I needed to do for this part. Once that's done, I can navigate back to my World of Warcraft folder. So if I go through my file explorer and navigate to that retail folder, you'll see more files here than what I previously had. And I now have an add-ons folder to utilize. So now I'm going to jump back into my web browser of choice and I'm going to navigate to CurseForge. This is the website that I'm going to download my console port add-on from. Once in the website I can click on World of Warcraft and then I'm going to type in console port. That's going to direct me to the proper add-on and page that I want and once I get here I can go ahead and click download. Once that has downloaded, I can go ahead and navigate into my downloads folder. You can see that zipped console port folder is there, and I'm going to extract all of these contents into that add-ons folder that I was talking to you all about previously. Mine is under that eDrive, World of Warcraft, Retail, Interface, and Add-ons, and I'm gonna extract all of that there. Once again, if you saved World of Warcraft to a different location, your add-ons folder is going to be in that location wherever you have this installed. But once this is extracted, if I go to my add-ons folder, you can see I have all the proper console port add-ons, which will help me play. Once that is installed, I can go ahead and jump into the game. Once again, I'm just showing you here that those add-ons are installed because they were extracted and put into the proper folder. And upon my first time logging in with this, it's gonna go through a small setup process on here. I'm gonna click the Xbox option. I don't know why I'm clicking Xbox over Steam Deck. I read in the past that that's the option you wanna choose, so that's just the one that I've always utilized. And then once you do select that, you can just kinda of continue on through this process. But from there, you'll be able to use the um, your controllers, your thumbsticks, your buttons to navigate through World of Warcraft. Now from here, I'm just gonna show a few of the settings that I start with, because I think setting up console port, especially for the first time, can be a little confusing. So when I navigate over to my controller settings, um, there's a bunch of different things that you can set to your different key bindings. One of the first things that I like to set are my targeting, so targeting the nearest enemy with right bumper, targeting the nearest friend with left bumper. I also like to set um, the key bindings for opening my world map and opening all my bags at once. I set those to um, my D-pad settings, but when holding down left and right trigger at the same time. So opening all bags, holding down left trigger, right trigger, and pushing down on the D-pad. 
um, opening the world map, holding down left trigger, right trigger, and pushing left on the D-pad. So there's, there's a bunch of different key bindings that you can use between um, your D-pad, your buttons, right trigger, left trigger, or holding down both. So really just find the, the settings and the key bindings that works best for you. But now let's check out some gameplay. Sorry before you go. supposed to be Yes, dear? Please, come on, little... I believe I heard some young whippersnapper in my garden out back. Let us go look for him. Ah, here is the boy. Does he not look special? My late husband and I always wanted children. You should join our family, preserved forever in jade. Here, kitty kitty.
So there you go, that's how you can install Battle.net as well as World of Warcraft and the Consport uh, add-on into your Steam Deck so that you can play World of Warcraft on the Steam Deck. I think I think it's a great experience, honestly. I think it's a little bit of a learning curve if you've never done it before, but honestly, I think World of Warcraft plays incredibly smooth. It doesn't suck a lot of battery, and it's a pretty enjoyable experience. Uh, if you're looking to install other Battle.net games onto your Steam Deck, such as Overwatch 2, Diablo 4, the process is pretty much the same. Once you get the actual Battle.net launcher installed, you would just choose those appropriate games that you want to install and then just follow the same process. Uh, but I hope you found this video informative. If you, if you did, please uh, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot to me. And if you have been playing World of Warcraft on your Steam Deck, I would love to hear about your experiences. What kind of characters are you playing? Are you doing in-game content? Are you just leveling alts? Are you gearing up for the expansion that's going to be dropping here in about two months from now? I would just love to hear about your experiences on the Steam Deck. Thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it and game on.